Welcome to Valentina Studio. Valentina Studio is a desktop application for developers and database administrators. It's platform native on all three major operating systems, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. From Valentina Studio 5, we added support for popular databases including MySQL, MariaDB, SQLite, and PostgreSQL. And best of all, Valentina Studio is free. Let's take a brief tour of several very useful features of Valentina Studio. Let's begin with the Valentina Studio start page, which is divided into three sections. The first is for working with database servers. To connect to a server, click the Connect To button and then enter your server settings in the dialog. Here you can create connection bookmarks or use an existing one from the list of bookmarks. The second section is for working with local SQLite or Valentina databases. You can create a new database, open an existing one, or select one that was recently used. The third section is called Projects and is used to work with Valentina projects and Valentina reports. This feature is only available in Valentina Studio Pro. The Schema Editor is your primary tool for working with database schema. Here you can create, view, and edit all possible database objects. Database tables and views, and their fields, links between tables, triggers, procedures, types, and so on. Usually database managers use a hierarchical tree for object navigation. In Valentina Studio, we've adopted a similar approach to Apple Mac OS X. You can view objects in three modes, as columns, as trees, or as diagrams. Each column displays objects. Click an object to display its sub-objects. If you select a database, then we see its tables. Click a table object to see its field objects. For each database, we can also check, for example, links between tables or procedures. On the right is the property inspector. We can see and edit properties of any selected object. Now let's check out this database in tree view. Working within tree view, we can select a group and see a list of all of its objects with properties. This is very handy if you want to compare objects. For example, finding the table which has the largest number of entries. Or check which fields of a table are unique. And finally, switch to diagram view to check schema of the same database. In Valentina Studio, you can use this for reverse engineering. In Valentina Studio Pro, you can use this for forward engineering. Here you can see that the example database, Valentina Sakilla, has two diagrams. Open one of them to display the diagram editor. On the left, you have the Diagram Controls toolbox. On the top left, you have controls that let you create new database schema objects. And also, helper controls such as comment, label, and picture. On the bottom left, you have existing tables, views, links, types, and procedures. Use these objects for reverse engineering. Over on the right, you can find the Diagram Navigator. Use it to easily move to any part of the diagram. If your diagram is very large, you can also scale or zoom your view. On the diagram itself, we can see different types of objects. They are pictures, notes, tables with links between them, views, and even procedures. Objects can be easily colored to simplify visual recognition of object groups. To edit tables and links within their editors, double-click the object. Open the editor of a table. We can see fields, triggers, 
text to the trigger. Now, open the editor of a link. We can see its parameters. Tables and fields are used to define this link. The Valentina team is especially proud of how you create links. To demonstrate, I'll open a diagram with two tables, person and phone. Look at the diagram. You aren't overwhelmed by a lot of confusing controls or menus to create links like you see in other tools. Move the cursor over the table and dynamic buttons appear above it. We're interested here in the add link button. Click it to pop up a panel to choose the type of link. Notice the dynamic message that appears above. This shows you what you will get if you click either button. Let's create a link of type 1 to many. Click button 1. The cursor changes to the link creation cursor. The dynamic message tells us we should now choose a child table. Move the cursor to the table phones and we get a panel again. Click button M and the link is created. Notice that Valentina Studio adds fields into both tables. Primary key into the table person and foreign key into the table phones. Now undo the last operation. Next, let's create a link of type many to many. This time we click button M on the table, person, and M on the table, phones. The link is created. Notice now that Studio has added primary keys in both tables and the third table to implement the many to many link. Valentina Studio SQL Editor is another major tool to work with SQL databases. The purpose of this editor is to give you a comfortable environment and interactive help for writing and editing your queries. You can also execute queries and view results. This SQL Editor provides a number of useful features. Lists of recent queries, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, Templates of commands for each database object. Access to your favorite list of named queries. You can also execute one or more commands at once. Query results are shown in their own auto-created tabs. You can export results into different formats. Here you can also find consoles that show logs of commands, errors, warnings, and other useful information. If you don't want to lose your previous query results, just pin it. Then the next query results will open in a new tab. You can also execute only a selected part of a query. This saves time when you're debugging your code. The data editor lets you work with the records of a single table without SQL. You can view records in a table grid and edit them directly within cells. Complex data types such as text, blobs, and pictures have special editors that automatically open. Triple click columns to sort records in ascending order, descending order, or remove sorting altogether. Another very useful feature in the data editor is the filter. For example, select a value, press Command Shift F and you'll get all records with the same value. The green line that appears highlights the filtered value. The filter is also expressed as a SQL query, which you can see as a tooltip. Or you can access it in its full form. You can even create a set of name filters for each table. Now let's look at another special feature of Valentina Studio, the related data editor. When working with a relational database, we might need to see records not only of a single table, but also records related to them. Valentina Studio can do it. When you open a table in the data editor that has more than one link, then right below it is displayed another editor showing the related table. 
You can choose a record in the first table to see linked records in the second. For example, we see the first record is linked with just one related record. The second record is linked with three other records. Select a few records and we see the unions on subsets. You can also filter them by mode. Show linked records, show all records, and show unlinked records. Here we see there aren't any linked records. One more interesting thing. You can link records with a mouse click. Click, and the record is unlinked. Switch to not linked records mode and see it here now. Notice here that the value of the foreign key is null. Now let's link this child record back. Click, and the value of the foreign key again equals the value of the primary key. Our development team hopes you will give Valentina Studio a try. It's packed full of useful features and free, with no artificial restrictions. If you're working with common database formats, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, SQLite, or the Valentina Object Relational Database, there's a version available for your operating system. Tell your friends. We also welcome your feedback and suggestions for improving Valentina Studio. Thank you again for trying Valentina Studio.